Hey guys, it is my birthday and I am just coming through to share with you guys as I was sitting back and reflecting on the entire year, I decided to do a reflection video, right? And as I celebrate another year of life, I can't help but to like think back and reflect on all the lessons and the blessings that I experienced this year, all right? <laughs> I had a lot of valuable lessons that I've learned along the way. So join me as I share with you guys the profound wisdom that I was bestowed upon this year, okay? My skin is glowing, my energy is flowing, confidence growing, glow up is loading. When I look in the mirror, I... So first and foremost, the thing that, the first thing that I learned this year that I wanted to reflect upon was perseverance, all right? Life threw a lot of unexpected challenges my way, and honestly, Half of them, I don't even know how I could have made it through. As I shared in my videos previously, I battled with depression. I had anxiety. I, I you know, battled with <laughs> losing my job. Well, not really losing my job, but like quitting my job. And all of those things were like super duper 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 adverse. But I handled those adversities head on, right? I stayed like leveled up in my prayer. I really got into like focusing on being a better me and persevering. Like I was determined not to quit at anything. Like if you've ever been through depression or if you suffer from anxiety, you know, like every day it is a constant battle for you to really put yourself out there and put your best foot forward because some days you just don't have it in you and you want to give up. And I am super proud of myself because I did not, you know, you can just throw your hands up and throw in the towel and say, you know what, I give up, that's it. But I refuse. So I'm happy that where I am today is not where I was a year ago. And that's something that made me stronger than ever. And I feel like I emerged tougher and I can literally do anything. So I'm ecstatic for that blessing that I was bestowed. All right. All right. So the next thing that I discovered was um, significant for me was prioritizing my self-care. Now, y'all heard me talk about self-care all the time on this channel. Typically in the past, self-care was a thing that I may have done sometimes, but it was sporadic because I had mom guilt, right? I had to make sure little baby, little BB, little CC, little daddy had everything that they needed, yet I was putting myself on the back burner. This year, uh-uh, I ain't do none of that, all right? I put myself first and really recognize that it's not being selfish because I still handle everybody else and all of my responsibilities, but I'm important too. So I had to put myself out there and give myself some grace. Also, self-care to me was maintaining my mental and my physical. So I know that I'm a person who I cannot come home from work and say, oh, I'm gonna work out or I'm gonna meditate and do all this other stuff. I'm a person who has to get it done first thing in the morning because that is just me. So I know 4.45 when my alarm clock goes off, I kneel at the side of my bed, I say my prayers, thank God for another day of life. Then I get dressed. Then I start going downstairs, stay at home mom life, if you know, you know. And I'm cooking breakfast, I'm packing lunches, I'm making sure everybody's cool, I'm making sure the house is nice and warm and toasty. Then I go upstairs, wake up the kids, you know, get my whole morning routine going. After I drop them off at school and send them on the school bus, it's time for me to go do my walk. So a walk in nature is essential for me for self-care. It clears my mind, it keeps me going, and honestly, it helps keep my weight the way I need it to be, okay? <laughs> so I make sure I go, I know that three full laps around my park gives me nine miles. So the lowest I do is three miles, and that's like if I'm in a rush and I have something to do or I have to film and make sure I wanna get through my stuff for the day. But Self-care is a non-negotiable, I'm going to get it done because that is something that I... This year also taught me to embrace change, all right? Life is always changing and we cannot control it. I used to be a control freak. Like, I wanted to know exactly what was happening, when it was happening, how it was going to happen, every little nitty-gritty. And it's honestly extremely frustrating that was like the source of my anxiety because I always wanted to control every single thing. And if I couldn't, because it's inevitable for you to control every little thing, I would have these little breakdowns. <laughs> so honestly, learning to just let go and resist, you know, the inevitable resist change because embracing it was so much more easier. And I'm not 100%, you know, 
done with this. I This is a work in progress, all right? This is something that we're definitely working on on a day-to-day -day basis, but honestly, adapting to change has helped me adapt to new circumstances. It also helped me discover hidden opportunities and helped me grow as an individual. I'm literally doing things that I never imagined that I would do. Like, I wanted to start a YouTube channel years. I'm talking about 2015, 2016, and I just now started it in 2022. Like, that's how long it took me to say, you know, like, let me try something new. Like, I, it's a work in progress, but it is definitely something that I'm grateful for and I'm glad that I recognize and I put my best foot forward in this aspect. So, yeah. <laughs> and last but certainly not least, I learned to let go of perfectionism, all right? I remember for such a long time, I like struggled with like everybody on the outside looking in thinking that my life was perfect and that I always had it together. And I was, you know, like <laughs> life is good. Like I got no worries, no struggles. I got a man, I got kids, like everybody's happy when in the reality, that's not what was going on. And because I was trying to put up this facade that Everything in life was perfect. Uh, everything was great. Everything. All right, Juju. I'm telling them that everything wasn't great. <sighs> Excuse Juju, right? So, like, I now know, like, you know, I don't have any... Mis all right, I've made mistakes, obviously, right? But they were meant for me to make so that I can grow as a person, right? Everything can't be perfect all the time. And also, those imperfections were also learning lessons, right? We take no losses over here. Everything is a learning lesson. Everything is an opportunity to do better the next time it comes around. And I personally feel like God gives us these tests every day to see if we actually learn our lesson. All right. So, yeah, like I was saying, like understanding that mistakes and imperfections are opportunities for us to grow and learn and be better for the next day or the next go round or the next test coming up. Is really like the key to that and it was really important for me to learn that so I also feel like embracing my flaws also helped me show up as my authentic self like I no longer have to worry oh what is this person going to think or no like I'm okay with being me I like how loud I am I like how obnoxious I may be at some times I like how nurturing I am also but I'm also like a giving person I have good energy and if I gotta hype myself up and be my own hype man it's so be it because I I am that girl like I am it and nobody can tell me different and it took me a very long time to get to this space so <laughs> what they say it is what it is I am so happy that you guys came and checked out my video if you like this content let me know in the comments what you guys think um what other reflection pieces or if you would like to see me reflect more maybe on a weekly um basis or something like that kind of like do a vlog type situation let me know in the comments also make sure that you are subscribed if you're not already if you like this video make sure you subscribe like it share it with somebody and also hit the bell for notifications i love you guys for watching and i'll see y'all in the next one bye I shine so bright, you might go blind